Welcome to Friday Takeaway on the dock this week at ENO and Kim Lung Resources. But before that though, by Joe, she did it. The Brexit divorce proceedings have begun with UK PM Theresa May triggering Article 50, giving the UK two years to negotiate the terms of its exit from the EU. This means unravelling four decades of EU rules covering almost 20,000 legislative acts in force as the UK decides what to keep and of course what to trash. The quest for Proton Suter continues and after news that Gili is no longer in the running, French carmaker Peugeot may prove the lucky, lucky one, so says PM Najib. This as French President Francois Hollande graced our shores with a state visit. Up in smoke, British American tobacco share price took a hit on the news that the government was considering more than a five ringgit bump in the price of cigarettes in order to reduce the number of smokers in the country. After hitting a 52-week high last week, no surprise then that the KLCI went into profit-taking territory, trading about 5 points down from yesterday at 1,744.22 points just before 11, unable to sustain the momentum despite Wall Street's strong performance and overall buoyant mood. Kananga Research is of the opinion that the FBM KLCI is likely to trade between the 1740 and 1760 point mark during this week. However, there were some interesting stocks that made the news and that is what we're talking about. So e &O are one of the oldest property developers around. Their portfolio is spread over KL, Penang, Johor, Siskanda, Malaysia locally and central London internationally. MD in charge of all of this is Kok Tech Cheong. So, the stock was suspended on Thursday pending a material announcement, which actually turned out to be that ENO and Quap had signed an agreement to take on Phase 2A of ENO's Sri Tanjung Pinang development project in Penang. And what's good about this is that it's Quap's first property partnership and it'll involve the retirement fund acquiring part of that reclaimed land for $766 million and taking up a stake in ENO through a very, very complicated way. The market, of course, continues to be challenging for property. And for the current year, you know, didn't mince their words in their notes. They said they expect property sales in the final quarter to be weak. Pre-suspension, the counter hit a 52-week high of 212 on Wednesday, 8.2% higher than the previous day's close. This morning, the stock was trading at 198, clearly unable to sustain the pre-suspension run-up. It's normal. Usual is that you rise on speculation, you fall on fact. Analyst consensus has it at one buy, five holes and two sells. The most recent report by RHB a couple days ago has it at neutral with a 2.06 target price. So these guys are plantation company and they have a focus on milling. Total land for all their plantations is 15,905 hectares. Their MD is Gui Siung Hin. So they saw good numbers for their fourth quarter. Net profit was up an impressive 35.6% to 16.8 million. Revenue also up by almost 50% to 256 million. The good thing about them going forward is that maybe you'll see better contributions from their milling ops because there is supposed to be an improvement due to more external crop. So according to UOB Kehian, the numbers, although good, were actually still below expectations for them. So, and not only that, the research house is taking a more conservative stance about the recovery for plantations in Sabah, where about 15% of Kim Lung's estates are based. As I mentioned, only UOB caravans the stock and they have a buy on it with a target price of 420. No, something to note, the stock did hit a 52-week high of 378 on Tuesday and has been trading at an average of about 330 over the past year. As at 10.45 a.m., it was 373, about one cent higher than its 372 close and about 0.8% higher than it was a month ago.